Everybody, today we're playing some Legion Tower Defense with the Fine Pride, otherwise known as Andrew. How you doing? Good, man. All right, and we're gonna do a strat where we lock in the Avenger. And this game is an auto builder, similar to auto chess. Uh, ooh, I got the mana healer. And it's super fun, it's on Steam, uh, but just, just a chill game overall. Hmm. Do I want Hydras? Oh, Magician and Vampire are the power-ups, by the way. We'd probably want Magician. Oh, yeah. But let me let me go to, over the basics of this game, you guys. Let me upgrade the king real quick. But both teams have a king, which is down here. And when it dies, you lose the game. So Andrew and I, Andrew builds over here. And I build over here. And then we have our opponents who build here and here. And it's a team game. So what happens is every round, a uh, wave comes. And you'll see how that works in a second. And they attack and you have to defend. If you don't defend, then the wave will come down here and your teammate has a chance to defend. And then if they don't defend, it goes to the king. And then if they kill the king, it's game over. But you have various units that you can... Uh, work with and stuff and i don't know it's a pretty fun game they all do different things like this is my bone crusher his passive is that he has increased health regeneration he heals three percent of his missing health every second so he can solo the first wave i think the second wave he can solo with help right or by himself uh, he needs help okay. yeah if he split the wave he can solo it what if I split it with, like, just a tier 1 bone warrior? Hmm. Uh, then I don't know. Oh, you went the flower. But the Avenger, the one we locked in, is kind of a good late game unit. Because what the Avenger does is every auto attack, it gets mana, and it gets mitigation based on how much mana it has, and then at full mana, it gets a splash attack. And it's super, super good, but it's expensive. So we're tr this time, we're trying to play full Econ. So another aspect of this game is every round, you can send your opponent things, like I can hire a snail, and this snail will be sent to my opponent, and they have to defend the wave and the snail. But whenever I send things, I also get income. And that's at the end of each round. And I can get uh, Mythium to hire mercenaries with workers. I hope I didn't make that too confusing. It sounds confusing, but you catch on to the game pretty fast. But yeah, we've been playing this game and I just haven't been able to get a game for YouTube. Which actually reminds me... I better check the audio to make sure that it's recorded audio this time. Uh, oh, good call. <laughs> I mean, it should be. It should be recording it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, wait, I forgot to build. Don't hate me. Yeah, because we recorded this once and it didn't record the audio. It was just not great. I'm gonna leak a bit. Is that all right? And leaking is when you don't defend. Obviously, I did this on purpose to show you guys what happens. They come down here, and now Andrew gets a chance to defend, which he should be able to. As long as the Bone Warrior tanks for his Honey Flower. You've gotten so much money, you've just built all your workers right now. Yeah, but oh well. Hey, you got this.
Does this game have music? Yeah. I don't hear any music. Says I'm massively underbuilt. Same. The reason I build like this is it's it depends on what units you have, but this uh cuts the DPS on half on your on your units, so it kinda gives them an extra chance to survive. get one of these although i think i'm going to need to start placing these smartly so if i'm if i'm going to put two avengers here and surround them i probably want these behind somewhere here and what this guy does is it gives its mana to other things so it's going to give this mana to this atom and this atom gets more attack speed for each uh for the more mana it has so that's good. I'm going to try re-rolling. See if I can get anything good. Ooh, I got a Butcher. And a Radiant Halo. Okay, I'll take that. I don't really care for the atom too much. These veterans are crazy. What the heck? They have life steal. Veterans? Well, you gave them life steal with a butcher, I assume. They're really slow DPS. Like really slow DPS. That'd be funny to go full econ with those. So I am now going to build my Butcher. And what he does is he gives life still to everything around them. And what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to build my Avengers around him with the mana healers in the back. And then I'm going to give them this power up at, at uh, level 10. Or round 10. And I'm going to give it Magician, which is just going to give them all increased MP5. They targeted my flower right away. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. This is a hard round. Rocco round. Oh, nice. My Bone Warrior lives. So now it's getting to regen. Um, I might build more workers. I've got a behind on workers. to upgrade this to mage yes so this guy he uh increases the attack speed of the highest dps character near him so he's probably gonna buff this guy the atom i'm also gonna upgrade our king Not enough material. you can upgrade the king spells which you can see here at the top you can increase his damage it's regen and it's aoe and let me know if i forget anything by the way andrew Again, it's okay, it's okay if this guy dies. He's just buying time for the rest of my, my dudes. I'm leaking again. What the heck? Not too many workers. I mean, I might leak. I don't know. I can't afford anything else. Oh. I 
Come on, survive. You will survive. You will survive. This guy has a little bit of regeneration, but not much. Uh, I'm leaking too. And also, one thing to know is that if you leak, uh, you give your enemy gold for each unit that leaks. So it's not good to do. It's not good to let them through. Then they also get gold for the damage they do to the king. That's a bad king. Or is it good? Good or bad king? It's bad king. Bad king. Just burning them. Yeah, there's different versions of the king. They have different attacks. It's completely random, though. All right, I can't afford too much. I can get a Radiant Halo, though. I think I'll put a Radiant Halo in the back just so I have some extra damage. What Radiant Halos do is the longer they're attacking the same unit, the more damage they do, which is pretty great. Well, this round sucks. The snake round. King again. Yeah, it's a good thing I got that Radiant Halo. I would not have been able to defend without it, I don't think. He didn't leak a lot, though, right? 67. <laughs> so, yeah. Come on. Target Spartly. Target Spartly. There we go. Unfortunately, though, uh, it cannot defend against that. I still can't afford an Avenger, but um, hmm, trying to think. I'll just get a second Radiant Halo. Honestly, they're pretty damn good. Upgrade the King's Regen a bit. Do need a better tank. My tanks are my bone warriors are not good into the late game. But that's what my adventures are for. They they're up and running. Now do you think it's better to go vampire, Andrew, or do you think it's better to go magician for Avengers? Uh vampire. Okay. Then I'll do that. Cause he life steals off all the AoE if you're going the Avenger. Yeah. Ooh, I can get an Avenger now, but this is round 10 is a boss round. And honestly, he's just going to get one shot. So sometimes it do be like that, but oh well. Don't expect the Avenger to be good this round, but you know, especially once you upgrade them, that's when they get good. Also, the last thing I forgot to mention is there is a mechanic called auto. If you turn this on, it'll automatically send mercenaries to give you maximum income. It's very important. Very important. And we're just playing economy for this game, so we're trying to get as much income as possible. So it's good to have that enabled. And the mercenaries will always spawn right here. Okay, that was good. enough gold no worries nice Good stuff 
All right, we got to get Vampire. So give a fighter an aura that get, grants 23% life steal and ability vamp to adjacent built units. So if I give that to the Butcher, then everything around him now is getting double life steal because of his regular passive and then the additional passive. And now I can upgrade him. And now they're getting really good life steal. He also gets to be a big boy because he's the hero. You're doing something dumb, James, so I'm sorry. What are you doing? Are you doing the Desert Pilgrim strat? Yeah. All right. The Desert Pilgrim strat is that this guy, he heals 3% of his mystic health each second, right? Well, this guy, if you upgrade him, he gives increased maximum health to the most forward unit. So if you get the Bone Crush, you have enough health. He just doesn't die. But it's so expensive, it's really difficult to do. <laughs> Just so you know, the Lost Chieftains make great tanks if you want to put them more, a little bit more in the front as well. They're really good tanks. Because they have so much health for no reason. Also, my head chef, he now uh, has an ability. At max mana, he heals. I'm probably missing a lot. I don't want to over explain things, but I definitely don't want to miss out on stuff too. If you guys are confused, feel free to ask yeah, in the comments if there's anything you're wondering about. All right, this next round's kind of annoying. Mantises. I might actually sell the Sacred Steed and move him back because I want all the Avengers to be around this guy. But I'll do that later on. When I run out of space. Uh, both my ventures are dying before getting their ability. I think I should upgrade them. Yeah. I'm going to upgrade one to a Sovereign. So it does the same thing, but has way more health, way more damage. Which is hype. Now I'll get another worker. And the last thing I will do is the Butcher's lifesteal doesn't actually stack with other Butchers. However, if you have a Tier 1 and a Tier 2 next to a unit, it will stack. So I'll put a, another Tier 1 over here to give these guys triple lifesteal with the Vampire, the Butcher, and the Head Chef. Now my Sovereign's not dying as easily. I could probably just build workers this round. It should be good too. And next round as well. Our enemy's still doing pretty good as well. Not enough go. Sean. I don't think this round's too bad. Feel safe to just get a ton of workers. Not enough with you. Or save your gold and then buy them next round. Oh, I mean true, but yeah, after round fifteen it's double workers, but that's okay. I want them now. Cause they can get me income now. Gotta watch our sovereign this time. It takes a long time for him to get his ability, so I might add more mana healers to get his mana up fast. There's his ability. As you can see, it's pretty broken, pretty boosted. <laughs> oh no, Andrew disconnected. Andrew, no, buddy.
Andrew, are you there? They added this pause mechanic literally yesterday or something like that, which is hype. Maybe not yesterday, but pretty recent. And look at the damage dealt. Look at the Sovereign versus everything else. Yeah. So if I get a bunch of them and they don't die, it's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, if he does disconnect, I don't know what happens. I don't think the game ends. Um, I don't know if it'll give him a chance to reconnect. If it does, then that would be fine. We'll still win this game. If he doesn't reconnect, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> and I'll see if I could 1v2. All right. Game automatically resumed. Yeah, I don't really know what happens now. Can I build for him? No, I can't build for him. Okay. Well, he has a pretty good build. Hey, restart your game. You can still join. Or you should be able to. Did anything happen? Uh, no, not really. I'm gonna make another more mana healers all the way back here. Are we still fighting the octopus? Yeah. Oh, so literally nothing happens. So yeah, fine. no, nothing happened. You're good. You didn't get a chance to build, that's the only thing. But I mean, hey, now you get to build more workers, right? But I didn't get that gold either. Oh, you didn't get the gold? No. Oh. Uh, that's unfortunate. Maybe it gave the gold to me. Oh, That'd did be you kind get a of, bunch of gold? I don't know if I did. Imagine DC round one and having somebody build a super, <laughs> like just a ton of workers or something. I don't know. I don't think that would be good. Did I just miss out on like 600 gold? I, I don't know. That's Look at how many atoms this guy has. Oh my god. Jesus. What's good against those? What's um AOE? The ghost the ghost knight? It takes Centaur. less damage to auto attacks. Centaur? Two? Day has come. Alright, let's build two oh, Avengers right. and the rest just workers. Now down here there's a fighter value thing and it's saying what your fighter value recommendation is it says i'm under but i mean i've oh the game auto played for me and upgraded my sovereign oh that's awesome Chaos. that's good Disorder. that'd be funny if it auto upgraded like a tier one that you didn't want to upgrade or something mm -hmm. it's still good uh, if i clear I'm, if i do good it looks like i'm doing good and get more workers Wow, my units don't die. Yeah, I got owned. Really? That's okay, I can clean them up. My sovereigns are clippy clopping. Oh, they leaked bad though, too. They did. That might be game. They don't have a nah. max game. Well, no, nah, that's fine. Matters. No, they have max. It's just not the regen. The regen's not max. Yeah. Oh, look at all these juicy. It might be close, right but it's not game. All right, this this next round's probably game though. Cause I have one thousand thirty-seven gold. <laughs> Oops. You want to build a harpy? No, that was accidental. Yeah, I'm gonna send them a safety mode. Safety mode with look, cold. Look cold at my glasses. look at my team. <laughs> All the desert. Okay, I'm gonna watch your boat warrior. Dude. How much health does he get? He gets 10,000 HP. Oh, look how fast he dies, though. He's healing hundreds. 
He's healing hundreds. Yeah. He lasted long. Yeah, he's he's getting there. At this point, he's doing his job as a tank. Oh, I think we win. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we're getting to the fun late game, too. Or buy workers to boost their stats? Yeah, I just bought workers. We gotta be dragons, we sent them. <laughs> yeah, but that's a Legion Tire Defense. After round 20, it goes into sudden death where you don't get income. But so we were already pretty late into the game. But it's a fun game. That was a pretty uneventful game, but still cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. And if you want to see more, more games like this, let me know. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, buddy.